Uh, this is Celasta Crown of the Majesty. You've seen this on the channel before. And of course, uh, this is the new DLC that's just been released. It's called Inner Strength. It brings a lot of new characters, sorry, a lot of new classes, a new race, and a lot of new feats to the game as well. And as we can see, people are joining in. <laughs> we do have a new green overlord, Hulk the Paladin. I like this. So we've got, uh, we, have a, we had a choice of two bards, actually. Dandelion. Um, of course, no relation to the one from the Witcher, of course. Uh, a half-elf bard. Or we've got, where's he gone? Elfis Presley. Um, both pretty good stats. I did roll the dice a few times to make sure we got uh, good stats. Because we're going to be playing this at scavenger mode, which is one level up from regular. So I don't know how hard this makes it, but I, th I think it just gives the enemy better rolls and maybe resistances. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing these new classes in action. Actually, we've got a good clean sweep here. We've got all three new classes and the new race included without doubling up on anything. So that's pretty good. Almost like we planned it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't realize. We've got three very broken classes and then the Paladin, which is fairly broken. <laughs> we've got... Okay, um, so... What have we got? Meet Karen at the Legacy Council. So there's not much we can do. We've just we have literally skipped the intro just to get rid of the tutorials, which uh, I think we all know how to play by this stage. Um, and there was a bit of a meetup that goes on in the inn. Actually, if you guys come in here, just come in the inn quickly. I'm just going to show you this character Ring. stood by the bar because um, two of you won't be familiar with this chap. Well, you will when you see him and you hear the voice. The unknown, the unknown drunk. drunk. Yeah. Do you know the story see, behind I this didn't... dude? I don't know who he is. I don't get killed in the Badlands. Okay. You were still filling your diapers when I killed my first ghoul. You recognize the voice? Streamer? Sounds like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Not quite. It's uh, Co Carnage, the, the streamer. I heard yeah. your stories. Not impressive. Was he in oh. Cyberpunk as well? He was, he was, Karen yeah, Rose. he was one of the, um, Karen said no more beer. the weird priests Sorry. down an alley somewhere. Yeah. No more. Yeah. Hey, well, yeah, I've, got a problem. Oh, I've got a problem straight away. What's happened? Oh. I clicked on the guy in behind the bar and he said no more beer. Oh, oh. no. It doesn't serve your kind in here. <laughs> We've got what? a racist barman. Wow. So we will... Because we'll... he's a dragon or because he's green? Uh, that's I, a good I question. take offensive of one of to one of those things. Uh, did we ever bring shortbread in here? Hey, you folk. Yep, um, I'm playing the bard, no. and that's no, why no, we're no. replaying. We've got bard, <laughs> we've got warlock, we've got monk, and they've also added a new race, the dragonkin. Oh, sorry, dragon. Is it dragonkin? The dragon. Dragonborn. Dragonborn. Magnificent. Dragonborn. Sorry. Up the big steps. So, I don't know why, but every time I see him walking, I've got I've got in my head. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, um, <laughs> Jurassic really Park. Hard seeing four characters move individually. Mm -hmm. I yeah. After playing the game or not? Yeah. I thought you were going to hum yeah. the theme tune from to the Incredible Hulk. You know the seventies live action show. Oh no no! I was thinking more of uh, I'm thinking more of Jurassic Park. I was hey, the of fifth Cyril. Cyril. I've nice had the guy. Siren uh, Skyrim music going through my head today. In fact, I even made up a little bardic ditty to sing on one of the travelling screens, but it was all based <laughs> on your character being called Sultana. So now, you and Aww. the rest of Twitch and YouTube will never get to hear it, unfortunately. I am not takes. We need outtakes. <laughs> uh, okay, where is this meeting going to take place? Right, while you guys are running around trying to find out what's going on, it's There's triggered. life yet, adventurers. Mariki, smile on you. Lady of life, a follower of the goddess. Somebody doesn't have a neck. The uh, dragonborn is so tall, his horns don't fit on the screen. I don't think we can do much <laughs> with this guy just yet. Yeah, he's, he's nothing to <laughs> We've got massive We should one. go. No Walk new in life, campaign, adventurers. unfortunately, Avenger. It's the same campaigns as before. You can play the new classes in the Lost Valley. Um, extension expansion or in the main one so I'd, I'd love to see a new campaign added to this it's a shame they didn't have one to go with the new classes because that really would have been great but um, hopefully something to come in the future 
Look at the size of this council hall. So this is what they spend our taxes on. Look, is that <laughs> the princess? You pay taxes? How long has it been since you Wait. played this? Well, is she leaving? Apparently um, so. This scene who will administer the oath. About three days. But the rest of the game okay. a bit longer. I haven't played through it in, in its entirety in <laughs> quite a while. <laughs> Just because. <laughs> the maid who empties her chamber pot? No, we're not as important as that. Perhaps her stable boy. You <laughs> thought love your it would be the face. princess. He's very articulate for a, a green smashy thing. Yeah. Hmm. He's currently I mean, not her, then her. He's currently oh, right. an Anna Lord. It doesn't really matter if what she rules the whole principality. Here. Who's more important? Lady Keen, the council's oath keeper, is trusted by all. Lord Karen. Yes, my lady. Are these your new deputies? They are, my lady. My name is Lyra Keen, oath keeper of the council. Shh. Quiet, everyone. And I will be administering <clears throat> your vows. Once sworn in, you will carry the authority of the council wherever you go. Your every action will reflect upon the council's reputation. Remember that. Always. Okay. Now, please, raise your right hands. Do you, each and all, solemnly swear your lives and allegiance to this council and promise to carry forth our mission to protect our alliance from any who would threaten the common good. I swear. I swear. A little late to say Excellent. no, right? It is a bit. <laughs> Lord Karen will enter your name into the council's register. Thank you for your service. Congratulations, deputies. Wait, that's it? That was long enough. You were enough. expecting a parade? <laughs> go on, go for yeah, it. What were you expecting? A parade? <laughs> no, I don't know. It just feels a bit anticlimactic. Sorry to disappoint. So, <laughs> the mission. As I'm sure you know, the Council maintains a number of outposts to secure the border between the Principality and the Marches. One of them is the former Imperial Fortress, KLM. <laughs> it's held by some 50 troops under the command of Captain Henrik. He sends us weekly status reports, or rather, he used to. We haven't heard oh, a dear. word from him in three weeks. Leave immediately for KLM and find out if anyone there is still alive. If Captain Henrik or anyone else is still breathing, bring him back. The Council wants a first-hand report. Every time I hear KLM, I just can't help thinking of the Dutch airline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, which yeah. one are we picking? Um, as long as we don't do, we're good to go just yet. We'll get the information, so the other three don't matter which order. Uh, yeah, diminish one. What can you tell us about this Captain Henrik? A fine officer, more than 15 years in the Principality's army. He inspires trust, loyalty, and courage. Hence the decision to post him there, facing danger. Wait, these marches, they're not in the Badlands, are they? The marches are a no-man's land, between the civilized world and the Badlands. It's outside the chain of mountains that really define the Badlands. We wouldn't send you in there, yet. That tale. Hmm. <laughs> Got a mind of its own. A whole garrison gone. There are only four of us. Just find out what happened. Run back if you get scared. Got it. Though we were hoping for a first mission with more riches than risk. <laughs> if you catch my drift. You don't get to choose your mission, I'm afraid. So, wow. gather what you need and go. Time is of the essence. What about some reds in the sun? I like, uh, I, I like it. I like your like, monk. She is at, at one with her wallet, I can see. Oh, God, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I, um, I'm going to have to watch her speak again, because it looks like she didn't have any teeth, though. <laughs> right. I guess that's that. Uh, I see yeah, what you mean. It's on to KLM. She doesn't. It's a <laughs> high sugar <laughs> diet in the monastery. It's all that mead. Oh, that'd be nice. Faction relations. Like okay, so, just to let you two know, um, there are, we can't access them yet. But we will go. And we will loot some artifacts that can be handed in at one of four factions or across four factions to gain rep with them. And all you really get is um, better deals at their vendors, and also uh, they they all have unique items: some magical, some scrolls and recipes and stuff like that. So we have to figure out which one we're going to focus on getting our rep oh. with. 
I have a um, preference, but it depends on what we want to do. I suspect long-term. my preference is probably the same as yours because one of the vendors seems like they just sell trash that you can get anywhere. Yeah. Just a question, by the way. You're going to try to level up as well. Mm -hmm. Law yeah, preserve us. The owl watch over you, faithful one. At least we don't, that means we don't have to fight a bear at level one. Yeah. No bears. We have a dragon instead of if a bear. That's got to be an upgrade. We should go. Ghostly, May you find I'm the answers, adventurers. We don't have to fight that because it just falls over dead. <laughs> That's true. Uh, right. right. I know we're level one. I want to point something out. Yep. We're ready to level up. I won't see this, but on my stream, I'm going through the characters, right? So, Mark, your AC is 15. Pretty good. Aimless, your AC is 14. Low, but Warlock, it makes sense. Oh, there or we go. Smashy Paladin is AC 16. And the monk is AC 19. <laughs> you got the dexterity, didn't you? You went for an elven monk. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got loads of dex, <laughs> loads of wisdom, and the, add them together to make your armor. So yeah. they also have the lowest HP of all of them, though. Yeah, that's expected. <laughs> so is this why I've got the more cell? Because I've got the densest one. Um... Uh, it will be, yeah. Wow, you so hang on. that's strength. Oh, and charisma. That's good. you got a good good rolls there for a paladin. I've got pretty good rolls for me, by the way. That charisma 20 is real nice. Yeah, that even what? beats mine. That is, that is, it's got to be an elf. A half elf, of course, here yeah, for the plus two. <laughs> yeah, I... But you've um... got a couple of minuses in there, Aimless. Yeah, but it's intelligence and wisdom. I don't need those. They don't matter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I made a um, pact with a demon. It doesn't matter. I did roll yeah, a couple of times him. to get these, but I, what did I do? Um, I went with elf rather than half elf because charisma is important for a bard. But I figured if I get some good rolls, I can still get the high charisma. Dexterity is super important because I'll be stuck with light armor. But also, this means I get the elven weapon proficiency of longbow, so I'm not stuck with just nice. a short bow like uh, like a half elf would be. It's not a big difference, say, well, but no. just opens That's things up. Yeah, about your board? I and went this with point the... you didn't go. Sorry, you go on. No, go on. You were in middle. Uh, because I'm disappointed because he didn't go with the bongos. I nearly did. I looked at that, <laughs> but I had actually re -roll, already rolled on this character before I realised I could change that over. Um, yeah, I saw you can get bongos as a bard, and I immediately make myself an orc bard. Go yeah, on bonga. bongos would be great. But I've I've seen the animation sure. of the casting animation <laughs> for this, and I, I hope the bongo one is is as good. <laughs> okay, sounds fun. Um, I went for Sylvan Elf, so I've got loads of movement to start with, and I just ah, get even more as a monk. That so explains. I'm going to be all over the place. That explains a bit about the stats. Yeah, they're going to be because that gives you. Um, wisdom two decks and one wisdom as well and that helps the the monk so have you you starting off with a, a staff nice i hadn't thought about that because they can use simple weapons can't they but a staff really fits oh. in it was a staff oh. or a short sword <laughs> and i thought well the staff gives me both two-handed weapon one-handed weapon mm -hmm. and i can add my stuff to it you can still do the kung fu sword. with it can't you yeah yeah also i noticed with the so, monk um, if you equip a bow, it says you can no longer use martial arts. But then that doesn't matter if you're using the ranged weapon. Um, if you wanted to use the martial arts, you just switch to your primary weapon. So if you, if you, if you want to equip a bow, it's no great penalty, I, I think, because you can't use martial arts with a ranged weapon. The only weapon anyway. penalty with a two-handed weapon is that you can't catch arrows and stuff and throw them back. Because you don't have a free hand. It's oh, like casting. So maybe later in the game you might want to try like switching. We'll have some it's magic stuff by then. We're going to have to play with. Oh, we, we need to go for a long rest as well because we, we can do. level up. To the pub, which we have previously found. Oh, the pub? Ridiculously oh you mean the one, that doesn't, pub. the one that doesn't serve beer? That's the one. Yep, the gravekeeper's cask. Oh, this beer dear. tastes like piss anyway. Donkey piss. Are you fast traveling us there already? I am. You're yeah, awesome. Better save those. Have to go upstairs. I noticed so you didn't have any oh, shoes, so I figured it'd be a long walk through your town on those poor soft feet that you've got. You don't have no. shoes. Draconic <laughs> shoes. Hello, you should have flip flops, I think. 
What can I offer you? <clears throat> Tell us what about your tavern. Expect? The inn? Well, it's not that old, but somehow it feels like it's been here forever. Well, you can meet all kinds of people here, that's the good thing. An old scavenger, a diplomat from the council, a knight, a lord, a beggar. We also have rooms to rent by the night. Why the name Grave Keeps Cask? Well, it's very old from Imperial times. Perhaps a historian would know, but I don't. I prefer the type of taverns that rent their rooms by the hour. Your beer is terrible, and <laughs> that's being polite about it. What? What? I've never had any complaints about the beer before. Maybe oh, your dear. palate is not refined enough. <laughs> that's you too. Maybe the beer just tastes bad and he refuses to accept yeah. it. We'd like to stay for the night. Sure. Just walk up to the suite and settle in. A suite? Oh, uh, it's more like a large bedroom, really. But you know, this is the capital city. I think this innkeeper has like a future as a Hollywood director, because if he makes something yes. that you don't like, it's your fault, not his. Hmm. Right. So level up. They fly that. Level two bard. What can we do? So I get an extra bard spell cast. Oh, that was something else I got. As this is another reason why I picked a high elf rather than um, something that would maybe give me more uh, better stats. It's because I also got a bonus cantrip, a high elf background cantrip. Which is just an extra one. Yes. Always nice. We get the Song of Rest and Jack of All Trades. Mm. Oh boy. Uh, so no. I can have defensive, defense, fighting style defense that gives you a plus one bonus to AC when you're wearing armor. <clears throat> Dueling, when you're wielding a melee weapon in one hand and no other weapon, you gain a plus two bonus to damage rolls. Great weapon fighting when you roll a one or when you roll a one or a two on a damage die for an attack you make with a melee weapon with two handed you can re-roll the dice. <clears throat> and protection when a creature you see attacks a target other than you that is within one cell of you you can use your reaction to impose disadvantage. I I would suggest like um, if you want to go big damage get the two handed weapon one the third one you said. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm leaning towards that because big smashy axe. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. That should be, That's should what be I'd good. Say. And the amount of times that my paladin rolled a one, if I'd have had that, I'd have been much happier. Oh my. I'm going to take so, the um, uh, identify magic item skill uh, as a spell. I can cast it as a ritual. Um, you, you can, but there is a feat that just gives you that without having to cast it. Yeah, I don't think it's worth wasting a feat on because it's a choice of a feat or two stat points when you level up. Yeah, that's true. Unless someone else has taken it's that. True. I think if you I haven't got so. somebody who can take it, it's maybe a good way around yeah. it. But it's just it's just a spell, um, so and I... the level one spells aren't that amazing for bards. So, right, um, yeah, fair enough. It's pretty good. Um, so level two, the monk gets key points, patient defense, which means you can spend a key point to dodge as a bonus action, step of the wind, which means you can dash or disengage for a, a key point, flurry of blows, which is basically another attack as a bonus action, and unarmed movement, which increases movement speed by two cells. We're going to see some oh, I just... good kung fu, aren't we? I just added two wow. modifiers to my Eldritch Blast. One oh, of them nice. adds my Charisma modifier to the damage. Yes. So it's a plus that's five. One. And the other one will ignore all cover on targets. Oh, that's nice. Beautiful. I thought you might have added the yeah. one that knocks them back a square. I was thinking about it, but the cover one sounds more useful. It does sound good, for actually. Now, at least. Yeah. I mean, I can still use the, the other one. I will get more invocations to on targets on. Because it's cover basically means if you roll to hit, you're always going to hit with, with nothing against you. Mm. It, so, yeah, um, they're the two I would have picked. It was a, maybe a bit early to get the identify spell, but it's something to pick up, and the, the choice of level one spells isn't isn't too exciting for me. So I'll grab it now, then it's, it's ready save for us later. gold early game, won't it? Yeah. Oh, well, it does require us to have a pearl as a reagent for me to be able to cast it as a ritual. Um, but... Mm. Uh, We've, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll loot one. Sure. Yeah. 
Right, it's rock and roll. Aimless. Yep, yep, I was checking his spellings. Were you looking to see if you can get a bear? Nah, just checking his spells. He was looking for a bear. Aimless's otherworldly patron is going to be a green spirit bear. Oh, I hope not. Actually, we've, the, the four classes we've got, Bard, particularly, Bard and Monk particularly, uh, get better in later game. Although the Bard's more of a utility class, jack of all trades sort of thing. But the Monk really does get good later. The Paladin is decent to start with and gets very dangerous later. But the Warlock is lethal right out of the blocks with the Eldritch Blast. And I don't yeah. get worse over time. <laughs> <laughs> looking at the possibly looking at those invocations. There's some fun stuff. And the time stuff that you've got. Yeah, that will come in at level 3, I do believe. Yeah, I think so. But there, there's just the idea that you can completely ignore a turn of damage. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That and all the... Uh, if I damage somebody, they also get damaged for a bit afterwards. Oh. So my area spells will just I'll be, be with you in a minute. If I get some. This guy. Where do we buy food from? Um, this guy down here? Not from this dude, but Hello. I'll introduce How you to Hugo oh, because my, he sells. Oh, okay. He doesn't give good prices, on particularly. Hang on, I skip all this. We know all this. Um, let's go to. Can you see your wares? Well, he does sell, and I I only just recently discovered this is fire arrows and fire bolts. They are very expensive, but uh, <laughs> uh, and a few oh, ingredients. Proficient at making scrolls. He actually, like he actually sells pearls, right? I need to pick a pearl up from him when we, if we don't loot one, uh, next time we visit. Does anybody have a start with a pearl? Where is the pearl? I can't. See yes, it. I, I do have a pearl. Ah, do oh, you, there it is. One hundred and fifteen. Oh, no. Yeah, you might need it for some of your um, reagents here. Yeah, there we go on the weapons. Yeah. It's 145 gold, so very expensive, but for flaming arrows, which do flaming an extra D6. Arrows. I wonder if I can craft them, then, because I craft stuff as I've well. I've never too. seen these craftable, but that doesn't mean they're not. We just maybe haven't found the recipe. And I've become aware of a I've new vendor. Well, no, not somewhere. a new vendor, but a vendor in the game at the, the Manakalan Ruins that appears later on with a ton of really good and also quite cheap recipes. For, for Welcome crafting. to Gorim's Emporium. I love the voices in this. Mm -hmm. This one, this one, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a proper northern. What one. do you have to sell? Everything you'll need for going out there into the badlands. Food, know. ropes, I don't know where torches, the ends and of course armor and weapons. No. I also have some other stock like remedies and antitoxins. That can come in handy. Ever heard of? Deep spiders. spiders. Spiders, you say? Oh no, not bloody spiders. She's not from the Hobbit, is she? She's not from the Shire. She would know about uh, Goblin Spiders. Are you Gorim? That's me, the one and only. That accent. <laughs> I think That's we need a. You get some good discounts with her later in the game, though, don't you? Yeah, you do. So we'll buy. Did, we didn't buy. Nobody bought food, did they? Uh, I have. I can. I have one ration pouch. So. Okay, I'll buy the food. It just needs. We need to need to buy four for the quest. So I'll pick them up. Mm -hmm. Oh, I will sell my crappy old clothes that I don't need anymore. Yeah, I sold my uh, my dagger and such. Yeah. Although she doesn't even want that dagger. Um, I have a spare set of thieves' tools if anyone wants it. Uh, if, well, you got two. Yeah, I didn't think I started with two, but I have done. Um, I mean, I've got plus seven on my decks. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'll, if you want I'll, to sling them my I'll way. I'll send them your way. I've got um, thieves' tools as well. I don't know if I can use them with my proficiency, but... Oh. Paladin with these tools. Oh. Hmm. Methinks thou art not as holy as thou dost appear. Deputies, a word if you please. So famous already. I love it. You were in there too. Are you a member of the council? I'm Annie Bagmorda, quartermaster of the Scavengers Guild. We don't have a seat in there, but 
They all know exploring the Badlands without us would be a bad idea. That's why you should stop by our headquarters downtown. You'll need our services, I'm sure. Is that compulsory? No. But you'll find our services useful. Everyone does. Did Lord Caron not tell you? No, he pretty much stuck to giving orders. Oh, right. Anyway, we offer plenty of help and advice to beginners like you. Beginners? I'm insulted. We are grown-ups, you know. <laughs> well, at least. I mean, it does look some. green. Of course you are. Well, good luck. I don't know. Like her At least she's not another lady or something. So what do you think? Should we check out their headquarters? It's not far, but... I've had enough talking. Let's go kill some monsters. I'm with you. If there's business oh, wow. to be done, we can't afford not to. Uh, yeah, yeah, DLCs and expansions for this. If you've never played before, I, unless there's a class that you really want to play, I would say just play the base game and the base campaign. And if you really enjoy it, yeah. then buy whatever the other ones you want because the lost valley is a whole new expansion with a new adventure so you can play through a second time with that and by that point you might want to try some new classes so there's the i think it's call of the wild gives you druid and barbarian and this inner strength gives you uh, three of the ones you see here today but you don't need them for oh well if you get this one the inner strength it does add some new feats which does open up your options for melee characters quite a bit so it might be worthwhile new, but well, you don't need them yeah and then you this new DLC has also got the Dragonborn characters as well. 